Okay. I, again, I want to thank everybody for coming, and your introductions were amazing. Now, you can see what kind of a group you're in, and I, I just can't stress this too much. The brain power in here and the creativity at this table is absolutely astounding. And, I mean, if, if we can't pull together this project and eventually and ultimately raise the money that we need to do and get the management that we need to make to, to invest the money wisely, then we're not really using our brain power here. We've got connections, we've got talents, we've got history, we've got all got, you know, we, I'm talking about you, I've got great resumes and you're brilliant. We can pull off a Scipio, which is a surprise, a Scipio Africanus was a, is a Roman general back in the 600 AD, or, or BC, I'm sorry. And he actually changed the course of the Western world. We wouldn't be here today if it weren't for Scipio Africanus. And he, he, pulled a, he pulled a surprise on the Carthaginian army, and Hannibal in particular, and changed the course of the world. Uh, it was the Westernized society. Nobody expected him to do that for any number of reasons, which I won't get into, but we are here to pull a Scipio on the world, and we're going to change the world, as I mentioned, in ways that you couldn't even imagine. Now, um, the, uh, you have so much power in your hands right now. You've got the power to save millions of lives. So let's put that power to use and let's stay focused. And I'd like you to imagine just for a moment that there was a big, like a fog bank of poison gas that was slowly approaching your community. And it was a killer gas. It would kill everybody that would breathe it. And you're the only person that knows this gas is coming and it's going to be there in 24 hours. And you've got 24 hours to alert your community that this is going to happen. They have to leave or they will die. And if you can just for a moment, from moment to moment, take that attitude and that sense of urgency and apply it to what we're doing today, because this is much more important than stopping some poison gas. This is worldwide and this goes on forever. So if you can take that attitude and imagine what you would do, how urgent would your message be and what would your message be to your neighbors and your friends and your relatives and just to your community as a whole. Let's put that, let's try to get in that, uh, that, that frame of mind. Now I do have an agenda that I'm going to cover and uh, I'll cover it pretty closely unless we Come up, with, come up with better ideas, we may get off of it or may not, That's, uh, we'll see what we all create. Uh, one of the things that I want to do is getting, get the message out, as I said, to the universe. And one of the most powerful ways to do that, and maybe the most powerful way to do that, is through social media and talking about public relations in general, press releases, but social media. And I wanted to, I was going to, I, I was, this is right at the top of my list, not close to the top, but I want to make it the top because Oliver Luckett is here. And I've known Oliver for a very short time. I'm totally impressed with him and what he's done. And he has the ability to move mountains. He may be the best social networker on this planet. One suggestion about what might be useful to people here who are potential investors or potential uh, people to disseminate information is to have uh, those people who have done the research and who are the CEOs of companies who have done the research to maybe go up front, take five to ten minutes to summarize their work, and then have people ask them questions. My suggestion. Okay. That's a good idea, Saul. Let's wait till after lunch because we're going to run into lunch. Uh, but I say less than five or ten minutes because we've got about you know a dozen or more. But um, I think that's a great idea, and then. Do we want to do it now, I mean, the whole group? I mean, do we want to do it right after lunch? Or do we want to generate some ideas prior to that? What do you think would be more productive? Yeah, so I, I would suggest, just because of lots of fertile imaginations are maybe thinking about what just happened, we might want to continue on with that and then break off in the afternoon to discuss. Okay, will somebody remind me? Dave, yes. The question is, what are the potential stimulations of content? Um, cartoons, pictures, words. Um, is Joe here, Joe Sugarman? He'll, he'll be back in a minute. 
Uh, Joe Sugarman is a master wordsmith. He may be, uh, he's certainly one of the more uh, famous copy, there he is, copywriters who's ever lived. And um, Joe, this would be a question for you uh, to address. Uh, what content, what kind of content would we be putting out? What type of, <clears throat> hello, hello, yeah. What type of content? <clears throat> Oh boy, I wish somebody would have asked me a different question. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, I, I think there's a lot of classifications for content. One is information. And uh, uh, we, we were talking the other day about all these anti-aging doctors. How do you find an anti-aging doctor? Well, there's an opportunity there, and there's an opportunity to, to have a website that people can rely on, that people have already uh, trusted to take a, a branch of that and, and develop this, this, this directory. Uh, the other thing that I always do is I always write an ad, uh, a print ad, uh, to convey the basis of the content that I want to sell. And I've written an ad, but I'm not prepared at this very moment to read it, but I will a little later, which leads everybody into, well, let's put it this way, grabs everybody's attention because you don't have, you have nothing unless you can get their attention, and then leads them into a logical progression uh, which they then want to participate in some way. And I'm going to read that, uh, read that ad a little bit later. But I don't know if I've answered your question. This is a, a really a difficult question. What kind of content? Well, uh, content that helps people. Uh, that contributes to their well-being, that, that interests them, that excites them, and that gets them motivated to learn more. And that, that, that could be a, a, a lot of different things. So I, I, I hope I've answered it the best way I can.